Ahora que lo he puesto a tomar sol, veo que le están haciendo una especie como de orquídea o planta parásita. Pero crece muy rápido. Pero es bajo el sol. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a really fascinating and I must say pretty contentious subject that has captured global attention, the alleged Panama meteorite. Now this purported discovery, it's generated some truly extraordinary claims about its unique properties and, well, most critically, its very origin. So the central question we'll explore is whether this object represents a genuine extraterrestrial find maybe one with potentially paradigm-shifting scientific implications, or if it is, as, as many suggest, merely an elaborate fabrication. I'll be arguing for its significant extraterrestrial potential, highlighting the compelling reasons why it absolutely warrants serious scientific inquiry. And I'll be rigorously exploring the reasons for skepticism surrounding this object, examining why the possibility of it being, well, a sophisticated hoax cannot just be dismissed, particularly in the stark absence of robust, independently verifiable evidence. Um, while the assertions are undoubtedly captivating and they certainly spark the imagination, the burden of proof for such remarkable claims must always be met with the most stringent scientific scrutiny. Okay, so the reported characteristics of the Panama meteorite, they paint a vivid picture offering compelling indications of its extraterrestrial origin and, ah, its profound potential scientific significance. The initial reports explicitly describe this object as being composed of a rare metal, one purportedly unknown to Earth, possessing the highly unusual ability to visibly change color under direct sunlight. But perhaps even more astonishing is the claim of its capacity to immediately incinerate plants upon physical contact, I mean, these extraordinary properties, by their very nature, they completely defy any conventional terrestrial explanations we currently understand. We're talking about phenomena that simply shouldn't occur with any known earthbound material. Furthermore, the, uh, the provided information notes that similar rare metals, things like osmium, iridium, and palladium, are scientifically known to be far more abundant in space than they are here on our planet. This established astrophysical context, well, it lends significant credibility to the idea of a cosmic source, suggesting a potentially groundbreaking discovery that absolutely warrants serious and immediate scientific investigation. To just dismiss these claims outright would be, in my view, to potentially overlook a monumental scientific event. Right. While the claims surrounding this Panama meteorite are, without question, profoundly intriguing, and they certainly grab our attention, a critical and deeply skeptical approach isn't just warranted, it's, it's absolutely fundamental. The primary evidence presented, as highlighted in the initial report, is a video allegedly demonstrating the meteorite's effects on plants. This visual material, however, has generated a significant mix of fascination and, crucially, widespread skepticism across online platforms. I mean, the very reports we're discussing point out that some viewers have readily dismissed the alleged meteorite as simply a common potato, calling the visual evidence fundamentally into question. Uh, in the absence of independent, verifiable scientific analysis from credible institutions or experts, such truly extraordinary claims very often fall squarely into the category of hoaxes. The uh, broader debates on the authenticity of such claims mentioned within the material underscore a common and recurring pattern where sensational assertions repeatedly lack substantive, tangible proof. This places the burden of definitive empirical evidence firmly on those making these rather incredible declarations. We simply must remain grounded in what can be proven, not merely what is claimed. I can appreciate the caution there, 
And the skepticism is indeed understandable given the almost, well, fantastical nature of these claims. Yet, let me offer a different perspective on the reported properties of this object. We're told of a material that undergoes a dramatic, observable color change under sunlight and, even more remarkably, causes immediate incineration of plants on contact. Now, these are not subtle anomalies. These are highly unusual, perhaps even physically impossible phenomena for any known terrestrial rock or common object. Consider the implications. If these effects are even partially true, they necessitate an origin beyond our planet. They demand rigorous scientific inquiry into what could be a truly unique extraterrestrial artifact, maybe challenging our fundamental understanding of material science. To equate such claims with a common potato, as some online commentators apparently have, it, it entirely misses the profound implications and scientific possibilities that arise if these claims hold even a sliver of truth. The potential for an object defying terrestrial physics is precisely what compels investigation not immediate dismissal. Respectfully, the leap from potential to proven requires a bridge that simply isn't there yet. The issue isn't whether such properties would be extraordinary if they were real, they absolutely would be, but whether they are demonstrably real. The cornerstone of the evidence, as we've both acknowledged, is a video. And that video, as the initial report clearly states, has been met with significant doubts with some uh, discerning viewers dismissing the object as nothing more than a common vegetable. We've witnessed countless instances where visual media can be cleverly manipulated or just easily misinterpreted. Without controlled, independent verification of these purported effects by qualified experts conducted in a rigorous laboratory setting, claims of plant incineration and dramatic color change remain, well, unsubstantiated anecdotes. These are precisely the types of visually compelling but unverified claims that are characteristic of hoax narratives, not genuine scientific breakthroughs. Extraordinary claims, as the old adage goes, demand extraordinary evidence, and a single unverified video simply doesn't meet that exceptionally high threshold. That's a compelling argument regarding the, the verifiability of the visual evidence, sure. But I would frame the discussion around its composition somewhat differently. The assertion that this meteorite is composed of a rare metal not found on Earth, coupled with the established scientific fact that certain rare metals like osmium, iridium, and palladium are indeed far more abundant in the cosmic environment than they are in Earth's crust, while that provides a coherent and, I think, scientifically plausible framework for its extraterrestrial hypothesis. This isn't merely a vague assertion without foundation. It directly connects the alleged composition of this object to known astrophysical realities and our broader understanding of cosmic elemental distribution. It suggests a plausible, albeit perhaps rare, cosmic origin. While certainly rare, such a composition is not outside the realm of possibility for an object coming from space. This contextual information gives the claims a weight that elevates them beyond mere internet speculation and uh, into a domain worthy of serious material analysis. I approach the claims about composition from a fundamentally different angle. While it is undeniably true that certain rare metals are more abundant in space, I mean, that's a cornerstone of planetary science, simply claiming the presence of a rare metal not found on Earth without any specific elemental analysis or geological context, is frankly insufficient proof of anything substantive. The material provides absolutely no details on which specific rare metal this purportedly is, nor does it offer any scientific analysis to support the claim of its non-terrestrial nature. It's a broad, almost generic statement that sounds scientific, but lacks any meaningful specificity or empirical backing. This, this unsubstantiated assertion could very easily be part of a deceptive narrative. It's a common tactic in hoaxes, isn't it? Make a bold, general claim that sounds plausible and impressive, but offers no actual verifiable evidence to support it. Without detailed compositional evidence, something like a spectroscopy report, for instance, to distinguish it from a terrestrial anomaly, or more likely a deliberate fabrication, this claim of a rare metal holds very little scientific weight. It's really just a narrative element, not data. Mm. I'm not entirely convinced by that line of reasoning. 
because it risks discounting the broader societal impact and the, you know, the very human drive for discovery that often precedes formal scientific validation. The mix of fascination and skepticism online and the connection to UFO speculation, while certainly highlighting uncertainty and ongoing debate, also reflect a widespread human curiosity about the unknown and the enduring potential for truly incredible discoveries. This public engagement, even amidst disagreement, signifies the profound impact such an object could have if proven real. It drives interest in exploring novel scientific possibilities rather than merely dismissing them out of hand before any comprehensive investigation can even begin. I mean, historically, many genuine breakthroughs were initially met with similar widespread skepticism, even ridicule, only to later be validated. To ignore that collective curiosity and immediate engagement is to overlook a vital aspect of how potential breakthroughs often capture public attention, which in turn can spur genuine scientific inquiry. That's a compelling point about human curiosity, and I agree it's a powerful force. However, have you considered that the mix of fascination and skepticism is precisely what one would expect and indeed actively cultivates from a hoax? The rapid spread of unverified claims, often accompanied with sensational visuals and, let's face it, tenuous links to popular but unproven concepts like UFOs, absolutely thrives on public fascination. This is precisely how internet hoaxes and widespread misinformation gain traction. Uh, confirmation bias, where people tend to interpret new evidence as confirmation of their existing beliefs or theories, plays a significant role here. People want to believe in extraordinary things. But the equal, or perhaps even greater, presence of skepticism, including outright dismissal of the object as a common item, should serve as a strong cautionary signal. This aligns perfectly with the broader debates on the authenticity of such claims that are frequently mentioned in similar contexts, which, let's be honest, all too often conclude in favor of deception. Fascination alone does not equate to authenticity, and skepticism, in this case, appears to be a very rational response to a lack of concrete, verifiable evidence. So, summing up my view, the alleged Panama meteorite, with its reported unique properties of dramatic color change under sunlight and the immediate incineration of plants, coupled with the assertion of its composition as a rare, non-terrestrial metal, truly presents an intriguing scenario. When we consider these claims alongside the known higher abundance of certain rare metals in space, the potential for this to be a genuine, extraordinary extraterrestrial discovery remains a compelling um, and worthy subject for further rigorous scientific exploration. The questions it raises about material science and cosmic origins are simply too significant to easily ignore without proper investigation. And from my perspective, despite the captivating narrative and the appeal to known cosmic phenomena, the claims surrounding the Panama meteorite critically lack the robust, independent scientific verification necessary to move beyond mere speculation. The reliance on a single, unverified video that has elicited widespread skepticism, including, yes, outright dismissals of the object as a common item like a potato, places it squarely within the realm of potential hoaxes. Until concrete evidence emerges from verifiable scientific analysis conducted by credible, unbiased experts, prudence dictates a highly skeptical stance, aligning it far more with, well, unproven internet lore than with a significant scientific find. And so the alleged Panama meteorite continues to stand at that fascinating intersection of remarkable possibility and profound doubt. Its true nature, whether a truly unique celestial visitor or an elaborate fabrication ultimately awaits further definitive evidence. Leaving us, the curious public and scientific community alike, to weigh the tantalizing claims against the enduring demands of scientific skepticism.